Good morning and welcome to Triangle Skepticamp 2024. My name is Jeff Gelbach and I'm the Executive Director of Triangle Skeptics. It is great to see so many faces in this room. A lot of them are familiar to me and familiar is nice. Um, far more of them are new to me and that's exciting and surprising and also its own kind of different nice. So thank you all for coming out today. You are what will make this event a success and I hope we'll be seeing many of you at future events. Okay, I want to learn a little bit about y'all. So I'm going to borrow a trick from the Skeptic's Guide to the Universe podcast's live show playbook. Instead of a show of hands, I want one clap in unison if the question that I'm asking applies to you. So let's do a practice one, right? Ready, everybody? Very well done, okay. Now, for real, clap once if you are attending your first ever Skeptic Amp today. Awesome. All right, now give me a clap if this is your first event in the world of organized skepticism, period. Excellent, all right, we've got a lot of participants. All right, how many of you all came out today primarily for the speakers and the presentations? And how many came out mostly for the social aspects? I think there was some overlap in that Venn diagram, and that's good. Because, well, first of all, that's a way more effective way, I think, to read a crowd than to try to cold read them. I think Susan will agree. Um, but also, this event is the first Skeptic Camp ever organized in the Triangle. To my knowledge, you should check sources, but I haven't found evidence of another one. And I'm excited and proud to be a part of it. We hope that everybody here today will learn something about science and the scientific method, which is the best tool that humanity has yet devised for countering our inevitable biases and finding our way toward what's most likely true. We also hope to send you home with some new tools for your critical thinking toolbox, ones that will help you get better at policing your own thinking before policing other people's thinking. Please police your own thinking first. Also, just as importantly, especially in the current information climate, we want to send everybody away with some new skills around media literacy. Um, promoting those three points, science literacy, critical thinking, and media literacy, is the mission of Triangle Skeptics. To that end, you can count on gleaning plenty of information from the fantastic speakers on our agenda today. They're here communicating based on their areas of expertise, and we hope the things you'll hear from them will be just the beginning of a thousand conversations that will spill over from this conference and out into your lives. We'd like to send each of you home today with a set of new social connections because ultimately that's what makes activism tick and bear fruit. Now this weekend represents the work of many people and I'd like to take a moment to acknowledge a few of them by name. Faith Newsom Rodriguez and Ramiro Rodriguez, both of whom are founding members of Triangle Skeptics and board members currently, um, secured this lovely venue for us and they arranged the morning snack that everybody's enjoying. They also lined up the secondary venue at Transfer Co. Food Hall, among many other tasks I could go on. Second, Susan Gerbic planted the seed that grew into this event and kept the rest of us going when we were pretty sure it was not going to come together. I booked a flight and you had to show up. She did, Susan, Susan booked a flight and we said, well crap, I guess this is happening. <laughs> Yeah, um, she also did a large share of the speaker recruitment and coordination. Susan, thank you very much. Also notable among our speakers by name, Kenny Biddle let himself be roped into not only doing a talk today, but also leading us on an investigative field trip tomorrow. That's gonna be a ton of fun. I'd also like to thank a couple of people who I don't see in the audience, perhaps I've missed you, but Matt Cravat and Harrison Kessling of the Triangle Free Thought Society and the Secular Hub of the Triangle. They've been a tremendous outreach and turnout engine and I appreciate them letting us hitch our wagon to their stars. Finally, another person who's not here today, Richard Saunders, who shouted out our little event on his must listen podcast, The Skeptic Zone. If you're not already subscribing and supporting it, please do those things. Do it now, I don't mind. You take out your phones and subscribe, skepticzone.tv. And I'm almost done, I promise, just a few more items. Before they start the playoff music, three quick things. First, 
putting together an event like this one takes a couple of things. It takes a lot of things, but mostly it takes money and it takes people. We're not set up to fundraise yet, and we're not allowed to fundraise in the venue today, uh, but I just want everybody to be aware that if they're in a position to help offset the cost of the event and to help us put on more like it, we'd love to chat about that. Also, if you're new to the group and you're interested in volunteering your skills and time uh, to help out with day-to-day -day operations, we'd love to chat about that too. Grab me or Faith or Ramiro during a break, and we'll talk about the particulars. Second. Thank you all again for being here. Let's have a great time. Let's be respectful to one another. And remember that every one of us is a fallible human. That's basically the gist of the code of conduct for the weekend, which everybody agreed to when you bought your tickets. Let's hold ourselves and each other to it. It's everybody's job to do that. Finally, remember how I said that Faith Newsom Rodriguez is responsible for a ton of the logistics behind this event? Well, she is also our MC. This is the part where I shut up and ask all of you to give her another big round of applause. <laughs> Faith Newsom Rodriguez, everybody.